Hey, welcome back. What are we doing today? Oh, yeah. Okay, I've got a full set of the Series 24 minifigures. How do I know it's a full set? Well, I stood at the counter and felt through all the bags and made sure that I had one of each and people looked at me weirdly and I cared not for their judgy looks because I've got a full set now and they don't. Yeah, ha, take that. <laughs> Let's find out if I do have a full set though, that'll be the trick. And of course we're going to then see what the accessories on these look like on mini dolls, cause that is my jam. So this is the Lego minifigures series 24. There are 12 collectible figures in this series. And this was actually supposed to be the last one that was in bags, but it looks like the next Disney one is also in bags cause it's pictured in bags. So I hope so, cause I really like feeling the bags. It's very, I don't know, kinesthetic, it just, and it also gives me a great deal of joy to get it right <laughs> when I open it up and go, yes, so this one looks like it's the Potter, and the Potter is so cute, so let's have a look, and then of course we're going to see what, yeah, what her accessories look like on a mini doll, when are we ever going to get a mini doll series, hey, we need some more interesting characters rather than just kind of city style characters, so she's wearing an apron, yeah, an apron that extends all the way down to her legs. The legs look as though they could do with another layer of paint on that apron part there. All of these freckles are so cute. In fact, it's reminiscent of the new character, the Lego Friends character, Autumn, with all those freckles. And she's got a headscarf, all knotted up at the front in turquoise, got leaves on it. All together, this is just a gorgeous minifigure. Would have looked better as a mini doll, but yeah. And she's got a turntable-y thing. What do you call that bit? I, I know it has a proper name, the thing that you actually spin in the clay on man words just escape me when i'm trying to you know say stuff when i need them words how could you fail me why are you so unkind so these balls are new in this color obviously i'm trying to make a new shape there's never going to work because we don't have any connection points but that would be cool i love the fact that they've cut, they've uh, included two balls in here and we, she's also made a goblet which is also new in this color as well all together, it's a fabulous little, yeah, fabulous minifigure to get. So good, but even better, when we find a mini doll, we can turn into our new Potter. And I really thought that Mirabelle would have a blast doing this sort of thing. So, and she's got the right colors, like the turquoise is there. She's got on a fantastic eclectic outfit. And with the headscarf on, it just, and her big glasses, I think this just, she just makes a brand new fantastic character now, right? So she can be our Potter. I'll just have to shove a bit of paint on her hands, the same colour as the clay, so th th it's more convincing. Yeah, but doesn't it look cute? I mean, she, Mirabelle looks fantastic as our new potter. Alright, so let's put her up the back and let's open up the next one, because we've got 12 of these bags to do, so <laughs> we're gonna have to... No, we'll we'll enjoy it, rather than rushing through. This is the carrot, dude! Just love a costume, absolutely love a costume, so let's see what we... Oh, it includes hair! <gasps> Okay, I didn't realize that from the picture. So we've got green legs. Oh, it's overall, it's yeah, overall. Yeah, overall, it's overalls. It's got dark green overalls and a sweater underneath. Just here's a proper ranger. He's got fantastic bright ginger hair, ginger sideburns, ginger eyebrows. The whole ginger is, is perfectly ginger. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger, so I probably should stop. But he's so <laughs> so cute. Got his printed sign for farmer's market. So he's currently the farmer and then he has to go to the markets and also, oh my gosh, hawk his produce in the suit. Wow, farmers do work hard. Let's turn this around, his hand around, so that we can angle this sign a bit better. Uh, that's so, this is adorable. And oh, okay, the carrot stalk there is rubbery so you don't break it off when you step on it. Pop his carrot suit on, and then I'm gonna take it off again because Merida is the only mini doll character that has this color hair, this shade hair, only the new version of Merida too. And I now wanna see, I'm so excited to see what she looks like with a pixie cut because her hair is super curly. So this is what her hair would look like if it was short and it's adorable. I just love this, this short too for Merida. Oh, I'm gonna give her a spin because it's just so cute all the way around. I bet that's so much less heavy too. But I think the question is, what does she look like as a carrot? Can we sell Merida as a carrot? Did we want to sell Merida's? 
that. I don't know. I reckon. No, I reckon no. So I reckon I'm just going to keep her in this pixie cup because it's just brought me so much joy today. And I'm going to put the carrot costume on a completely different person. But Meredith can hang out here, here, hang out back here with her nice cool hairdo and compile some of the few mini doll parts that have this dark green shade. There's just, this color just doesn't happen much in the mini doll verse. So we've got this dude here. Uh, oh, this carrot is short on the back. Is that so they can sit down? But it's pokey on the front, so you still can't sit down. Why is the carrot short on the back? Look, see, you can't sit, still can't sit down. I don't know, that's confusing. Maybe it's easier to get, no, I don't know. There, there will be a logistical reason, but I don't know what it is. But I do now have a mini doll carrot <laughs> with the farmer's market sign. <laughs> that's so, <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right, and this dude's quite happy with his new hair, so everybody's happy. Ta-da, see? All right, let's see what's in the next packet. I guess I just have too much fun doing this. <laughs> okay, oh, this is the Marie Antoinette figure. Oh, how are we going to check? Let's look at it first. All right, so we've got the fantastical skirt, this massive, massive side yes side out <laughs> skirt once again i'm sure that's the technical name all in pink so good the oh, two face options here we've got one with the slightly aghast and one one with the closed lips could have done with another layer of that white paint too it's not particularly thick but mind you it was full of lead in those days so it's probably best it hasn't been layered on too thick the hair piece is is intensely amazing that's so good and she comes with a white chihuahua which is just i think it's new in this color her hair is so good though feel like it needs little bows like holes in it so you can stick bows in it or tiny ships or really big ships <laughs> now this face is going to be difficult to match i can't do that in mini doll form we don't have any sort of face that looks like that but i think that aurora already has the right color scheme for her dress it doesn't have the enormous side bags is that minifigure shorter than a normal minifigure does that skirt make her shorter no it doesn't just looks squatter i suppose because it's wider yeah no they're definitely definitely the same size as normal also just brings to brings to light how much taller the mini dolls actually are all right let's well we're gonna make this one significantly taller with this fantastic hair piece Oh, look at that. It would be so much better if we had the face paint, though. Could have the beauty mark and the little pink consumption spots on her cheeks. That's really... that's... yeah. Oh, it, it, it's not quite periodically correct, but the colour scheme works and we got a princessy style dress. And altogether, I think that's a reasonably good transition into a mini doll. Right, next one! Let's see... we got this bag is stuck inside the other bag. It's been sealed in... in... in inside. In, in, in. So this is the orc, I think it's called in the description, but I... The, like, the green of it is goblin-y to me, but it just depends, I suppose, what mythical universe you subscribe to. If you read... if you, do you guys read The Wandering Inn? The Wandering Inn is a fantastic online web series. Yeah, it's it's fabulous, though. But this is what I imagine that the, the bigger goblins look like, like the hobgoblins. I reckon this would be perfect. Oh, this jaw. I forgot to put the jaw on. That's fabulous. Oh, and it's also rubbery, so it means when you step on those pointy bits, they are not going to impale your foot. So, win all the way around. That is the best jawline. <laughs> he had a prominent jawline. Yes, he did. And his nice big, big wad of hair out the top, his ponytail, and he has got a quite... Quite a comical, actually, picture on the on his shield. I love it. It's a big stylized skeleton skull head and a very, very seen better days sword. His sword, so good. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do this with mini dolls. We don't even have these colors. Just going to take this guy who was Matthias from the Frozen 2 sets. And he's not even quite this, he's not even the right shade of green, but I think... <laughs> This is the more formal version of a hobgoblin, maybe, with his fancy clothes on. I just want to see what this jawline, I do like this cloak too, oh, what this jawline looks like with a mini doll head. And it actually does sit on quite snugly. I mean, it's obviously not designed to fit on there properly, but it doesn't spin around like the other jaw accessories, the beards and the ties and stuff like that. So that's quite secure. Ooh, nice. It's like he's halfway through the transition. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not going to be able to hold this shield. Dang. Um, I mean, he's going to be able to hold it a bit sideways. He can hold the sword. So let's just, let's put out the rest of our, 
I'm just thinking of it as a goblin now. He looks so grumpy in the background. He's got his grumpy face on. He's a grumpy uppy fangs. Okay, I definitely can't make him hold it upright. But if I just bring in a little trusty accessory, I'll bring in a lipstick, bit of a lippy, and then you can use this to actually stick through the back of the shield. And then you've got a tiny bit of bar above and below if you want to that you can actually hold now, even though the mini doll's hands don't twist, where there's a will, there's a way. We can use different accessories. And of course, if you don't have a lipstick, this not a slightly newer accessory, this little bar accessory, also does exactly the same thing, but it's much more funny when you give the orca lipstick a like that. All right, let's have a look what we've got next. We're not even halfway through yet. Oh, we've got, oh, we got some neon happening, a soccer ball trying to get away. So this is the referee. I'm going to put the soccer ball in the spare bowl. That way it's not going to just roll off my table. Okay, that shirt is a fantastic colour. Sport on the back. Look at all the printing. I want all this detail on mini dolls. Printing on the arms. Got watch and timer. Got, whoa, nice. That, that that's a red card face, that is. And she's got a, what do you call that thing? A mouse speaker -y thing <laughs> in her, yeah, on, printed on her face. So we got a red card and a yellow card. And we've got the soccer ball, which if I try and put it down flat, it's going to roll away. But there is this little divot on the bottom, which is probably where it is, like the injection part. But that's, yeah, it, if you just get around there, it's going to stay flat. Now, the only mini doll I have with the face speaker -y thing headset, that's what it's called, uh, is this one from the Space Academy. And I just don't know that I don't have any other body parts in the skin tone that are going to be able to match, even look even soccer-ish. In fact, the only, well, okay, the only neon colour that we've got so far in mini dolls is this from the Trash Collectors. And that's, that's not going to work. Like it doesn't, it's, I can't sell that. So I've put together a version of Stephanie, but even though like, cause she's got little soccer, soccer socks and soccer shoes and little sporty, sporty shorts. Her top has got a whistle on it. So that's good too. Even though it's got bubbles on it. Cause it was a whistle from a lifeguard thing, but shh, don't tell anybody. But the face is always a problem because we have so many smiley faces because apparently girls should just smile more. But we do have a few from the DC super, the superhero line in the villains, in the anti so we've got Lashina and we've got Lena Luther and lashina has got the face makeup on there. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to use, yeah, Lena Luther. Oh, we haven't seen any faces like this for years. I know we're now seeing alternate expressions, but we need more expressions. We really, really do need a variety of expressions. We can't get this soccer ball to stay still. A lot more expressions. Can I say that more? We need more expressions, please. We've still got just a large variety of smiles. So yeah, let's, let's show some more feelings. Feelings are important. Feelings are good. You need to feel your feelings. Okay. I felt a lot of feelings right there. We got Stephanie ready to red card somebody. So I think that's good. And while I was looking for the angry faces, I found a face which would kind of work. <laughs> Emma's Dalmatian painted face for the Mary Antoinette. Even though it's got little purple splotches on it, we can just imagine she has smallpox or leprosy or the plague. No, or just starting to peel from all of the lead poisoning in her face. No? Okay, let's put it back to normal then. You guys are no fun whatsoever. <laughs> but it's true. It's history. <laughs> Fine. All right, so let's get these back back here and let's get another packet open. And we'll, yeah, I'll try not to give these ones leprosy or smallpox or the black plague. You're welcome. <gasps> this is the newsy. It's the little, it's the little newspaper boy. Is it a newsy? He's got his patch pants and his braces. Oh, and oh my gosh, the gap to smile is busy announcing. Oh, extra, extra. That's it. Gosh, I had a mind blank there for a moment, uh, but I forgot to put his bag on. So let's pop his bag on, put him back on with all his freckles and his cute little newsboy hat, his newspaper boy hat. And he's got, yeah, this is, this is what's extra today. Extra, extra. Extra hard to get on his hand. No, we've got that on. And he's got a slingshot in a brand new colour, which is nice. I mean, unnecessary to have a slingshot in a new colour, I suppose. But I, is it ever unnecessary? No, that's lies. And we've got an extra one, which is really good. Now, to make... This is, mm, this is where we come into trouble because for the mini dolls to have a little, like a little character, a younger character, this is all we got. Micro dolls, which are very, very cute, but very, very useless because they cannot hold anything and they also keep tipping over. <laughs> so no good here. This is my modified mini doll that I made a few years ago to have like a younger version, a little kid version, still a bit taller than the other kid versions, but this would do 
okay now I think she's wearing overalls we certainly don't have any mini dolls that have got braces we do have that buff dad from the uh we do we have a buff dad from the the park the park the park set from a few years ago that would have been good but that doesn't work for a little kid so let's see what our character here looks like if we put her in yeah see come on we need an in-between character for mini dolls we really really do otherwise we just jump straight from cute toddler to teenager which is not how it happens <laughs> The mini figure looks absolutely, yeah, really, really annoyed. <laughs> We've nicked his stuff. Too bad, dude. Sounds now. Okay, next one. <gasps> yeah, okay. So this is not going to translate well to mini doll, but that's okay. Because this is the, oh, we got two tails. I could, yeah, I could cut one of these up and modify it to fit on a mini doll. This is the dinosaur outfit. Like those big blow up dinosaurs, which is definitely <laughs> like the two face options too. <laughs> is definitely a dad thing to do like dressing up in the blow up yeah I'm gonna fix that I'm gonna fix that tail to make it mini doll happy but not today yeah so if this is a dad dad outfit we're going to put one of our dad characters in here with some of the few brown pieces that we actually have in mini doll form and that tail looks really whacked at the moment but that's okay I'm going to I'm gonna fix that another time not today not in time for the video that looks wrong it doesn't work at all but it's kind of cute and i'm here for it <laughs> let's just turn his head around a bit so that he can be looking at you out of his dad dinosaur costume that's fabulous okay it's definitely better on the minifigure but you can't have everything all right next one Next one is some sort of robot-y alien kind of thing, which we always have one of these. I love the colour scheme for this with the bright white, the pink, and the lime green face choices. Oh no, that's the face on the front. This is once again going to be really hard to turn into a mini doll because we just don't have these sort of characters. And we do need another theme, a mini doll theme, which, which gives us some really fantastical characters. That would be cool. This is printed. we got a printed piece on here with an uppy triangle, another one here, and there's a spare one as well. Four, <laughs> four little pink roller skates. So three of these, I just checked the instructions, three of these are supposed to go here to make the front of the ray gun. That's just such an interesting ray gun concoction. That's hilarious. Now hold on, I've turned the wrong way. That's it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> okay, yes, you look very menacing. And we've got, yeah, spare piece here. And I just want to, yeah, okay, so for mini dolls, the colour scheme here is shouting Mulan to me. So we're going to make Mulan now into this character. Where is she? So I've changed her pants over so that they kind of are the same. No, they're not. But the colour scheme's okay. We're going to go with this because I said so. <laughs> oh, her hair looks really good on the other character, on the minifigure. Okay, so, yep, helmet on the gun on I mean there's not much else here to help us we really need some more cool stuff in mini dolls but if I take one of these roller skates off now she can be a roller skating alien weirdo it's perfect it's just perfect I love that <laughs> I love that too much okay let's put her over here and find out what do we got next let's see if we can do better with this one this is oh this one was really fun to feel because you can feel the rocking horse so it's a dedicated rocking horse mold which is just adorable and a little girl mini figure with her unicorn yeah unicorn sweatshirt on she's got her glasses and her freckles she's just adorable pigtails and this why is this here this must be so that it attaches to the plate here so if that goes on there oh yeah look at that Nice and secure. It's like Lego was designed to fit together. Who knew? Love it. That was a lot of forethought went into that. So, yep, we can pop her on here. She can have a fabulous time on the rocking horse. This is once again where we need an in-between doll for mini dolls because we cannot put a micro doll on this. Let's just try for funsies, though. So, yep, no. Nah. See, look, we can, oh, actually, you can kind of balance her on there. I wonder if I can make some sort of little concoction-y, saddle-y thing so that she could, and I'd have to cut the middle out, I think, to be able to fit her in, which I'm willing to do because I want these accessories to fit my mini doll verse world. But that's, yeah, okay. So, I mean, it doesn't matter how I try and turn her around. It's not going to fit. So this is where we once again need these in-between size mini dolls who, oh, no. Oh, their feet are bigger. So they don't fit. The mini dolls don't fit in here. This is the saddest day of my life. Okay, it's a little bit dramatic, but no. Whoa. 
Oh, wow. All right, so it just looks like that the mini dolls just have to watch the minifigures having fun on the rocking horse and nobody else gets a turn. That's not right. <laughs> Next one. That is sad. Oh, it's the spaceman. I mean, which isn't quite as exciting for me as a lot of people. A lot of people have been looking for this. For me, I go space theme. Yeah, that's fun. But yeah, but we got a baby. The baby is very cute. So baby spaceman. That seems wrong. Baby space baby. A space baby. I think we could have just gone with that. And now for those people who are collecting spacemen in Lego form, they've got a brown version with the old fashioned dot dot smile face, which is really cute. It just goes to show there are so many different ways people collect and different things that people collect with Lego. Different styles, they like different things. That's what makes the world a good place is because people like different things. This is cute too because it's like the monitor, the sleepy baby monitor out in space. I mean, that baby looks pretty awake to me. We could, I wonder if I could, wish I could have, wish we had a baby backpack carrier kind of thing that the tanks went in. Yeah, we, yeah, but no, we're just gonna have to stick our hand up the baby's butt. <laughs> okay, very wrong. Okay, good. But this is my plan now, because the only mini dolls we have, well, some of the few mini dolls we have in space outfits are Julian and Olivia from last year's Space Academy. And because we're gonna put our own little head cannon here, Julian and Olivia are now uh, living in space together with their own little space baby and she's gonna be the brown spaceman. Ha, huh, take that. So let's see if I can get this on here. Cute. So she's, yeah, so she's got, cause she's got the space suit, right? It's not brown, but that's just too bad. And the baby and Julian match. So that's perfect. They're obviously related if they match and he can even hold the baby. That's so adorable. And she can be keeping an eye on whether he's doing a good job <laughs> from, from space. Yeah, look at that. That's some really cute headcanon happening now. So now we know what happened with Olivia in the new reboot. She's got a little space baby and she's looking after it in the world of space. Okay, all right, come on, move them out of the way. It was very cute, but let's move them on. Next one, because we've still got, how many more bags have we got left? We have got two more bags left. <gasps> this one's, okay, so this one is the falconer because we've got this beautiful falcon and this beautiful cloak and this bag with all the rest of the stuff in it and the head that's trying to roll away so this is oh I so want a fantasy theme another fantasy theme or a medieval theme that'd be cool too for mini dolls I mean we can almost or even just like a an unstereotypical princess theme like just medieval yeah but anyway okay I'm babble I'm 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 dreaming too much we all just want we all have our things that we want from Lego so we got the falconer fantastic outfit fantastic cloak fantastic falcon we put that on her gloved hand which is obviously the one you need so that doesn't destroy her arm but I reckon we're gonna bring Merida in here again because color schemes okay uh, but I reckon she's gonna look really really good with his cloak on and we've just changed from her pixie cut <laughs> to long red hair, which goes with her coloring as well very nicely. And she does not have a glove, so she's just gonna need some magically really strong, yeah, arm skin. Oh, but the original Falca, the mini, the minifigure version looks really good with the little pixie haircut too. Yeah, she looks great with as the falconer. Okay, I love that. That's probably my favorite of the day so far. Okay, one more, last one, and ew, yes, okay, I was just worried I wasn't going to get this one. I actually have got two bags, I think, of this, I put the other one away. So this is the Australiana version. This is 100% supposed to be Steve Irwin, and he's not busy taunting the crocodiles. He is cuddling a koala. We've got a koala mold, which brings me so much happiness. Look how cute that is. So, got just a, an anti-stud in the butt. So you can pop that on his hand. You can't actually clip it onto his arm. So he has to hold on to the, the stick. There we go. And the koala hangs onto the stick. They're both hanging onto the stick and then they, the, they can hang onto the koala. That's perfect. How cute is that? <laughs> That's so good. And I love the hat hair combo too. I didn't mention it, but I love it. We've got an extra green stick and you know what? There's no one else we could be doing this with, I think, than, than Autumn. So Autumn, let's try her out with this hat hair combo. <laughs> Steve looks great with her hair. It looks adorable. In fact, even looks reasonably androgynous. It could go with a, with a guy or a girl with this, with her face. But her limb difference, so her arms abbreviated, they've actually made it 
the Lego designs have made it thicker than the other arm, so you can actually clip things onto it. So we can clip the koala onto her arm, which I just adore. <laughs> I wish I could turn it around so the face print was on the other side, so it would look like she was cuddling it, but that's not... Okay, that just looks awkward, but that's so cute. But we're gonna just... Yeah, I think... Alright, so she has to hold... Yeah, she can hold it with the stalk as well, like before. But yeah, if you want to, you can actually just clip it onto her other arm, which is just extra useful. So good. I think this one might be my new favourite. That hat hair combo just translates really well. And the koala's so cute. Okay, all right. So almost was successful with turning all of these minifigures into mini dolls. Got a reasonably eclectic bunch here now at the end, but oh gosh, it is so much fun. But may we please have a mini doll series Lego? You know, one day in the future, is it too much to ask? It probably is, but I'm gonna keep asking. All right, make sure you subscribe, click the little notification bell, do all of the interaction-y things in the hope that maybe more of my videos will turn up in your feed, please. And I'll see you with another one really, really soon. So yeah, till then, <laughs> bye.